Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I am over the moon excited about sharing a recipe with you today. This is an edible butter candle and they are amazing. Last week, my aunt hosted a dinner party and she posted pictures of these beautiful butter candles that she made. And when Beth posted the pictures, I knew immediately this is something that I've got to make and share. And I thought it would be perfect for a romantic evening for two since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And this is the perfect thing to share. I'm so excited. And listen, it's beautiful and it tastes delicious. Now I'm starting with a stick of salted butter. I prefer salted butter. I just feel like it tastes better and it eliminates a step for me in adding salt to it. And now I'm gonna add, let's say a tablespoon of dried herbs. This is Italian seasoning. It has a little bit of everything in it. If you want to chop up some fresh herbs, some rosemary, sage, basil, whatever it is that you want, then by all means do that. But I'll tell you, the dried herbs in this are delicious and they're easy. Now I've grated some Parmesan cheese and this is fresh grated Parmesan cheese and I'm adding about two tablespoons of that. That is going to give this butter even more flavor. And now I'm just stirring it together. I've watched some videos on making this and some melt their butter and pour it into their mold. And I just think that this, first of all, is easier. And second, the herbs don't fall to the bottom. They're evenly distributed throughout the butter and that's what we want. There we go. Now you can use whatever mold you like for this butter. I've seen people use the little Dixie cups and those are great. I happen to have just the little silicone chocolate molds and this is in the heart shape, which again is perfect for Valentine's Day. I also have a larger one here, and this is what I use to make this candle. This is perfect for, let's say, a serving for two. And I purchased these at Hobby Lobby for a dollar and fifty cents. Definitely worth it. But if you don't want to spend any money, and you've got some of these little plastic cups. You can get them at the dollar store. And I made one in this and it turned out great. This one looks like a good size for me. Now I'm not gonna fill this entire thing with butter, but this is probably, I would say, the equivalent of a tablespoon per heart. The aunt that I was telling you about that made these is my Aunt Beth. She's my dad's youngest sister. My dad's one of five children, and he is the first, the oldest of the five children, and Beth is the youngest, and there's actually almost 16 years age difference between Beth and my dad. So she's his little sister and she's kind of my honorary big sister. She's I think maybe five years older than me. We grew up together. She is starting a cooking page. Um, she's already starting to record her videos and that is going to be up and coming soon. She is an amazing entertainer, a fabulous cook. She is more on the gourmet end. And I'm really excited about her doing this. And when she gets up and running, I will make sure to share her videos on my page. This is done. As simple as that. Now we've got to have our wick. This is a wick that's covered in beeswax. There's no chemicals. Obviously, we're not going to eat the wick 
I kind of think of it like a toothpick. Sometimes you have to put a toothpick in your food to hold it together, but you're gonna take it out and it's not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna need a wick that's about an inch long. So what I do is I just fold it just like that. I twist it and then cut it off. I'll cut off the extra, but you just want to double the wick like I did, twisting it together because it needs to be stable enough to where you can actually insert it into the butter and it has enough stamina to stay. My candles are ready to sit. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and they set up really in minutes. And if you wanna hurry this process along, you can even put them in the freezer. As soon as it sets, it's ready to go. Well, I'll see you back here in a few and I'm gonna show you how to enjoy this delicious butter. My candles have been in the refrigerator for all of about 10 minutes. It was that fast. And let me just show you how easy these come out. I'll put one here and another one here. Now, let's light these up. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? I think that this is romantic and I know my husband will too. Now you can serve these candles and let them melt down and eat it that way or you can dip your bread or whatever you're serving it on in the melted part. You can also cut off a piece and spread it on your bread but as you start cutting into it the candle is going to fade out. So if you want to keep them burning, then just let them burn. And then as they melt, just dip whatever you want to in your butter. Let me taste. That is so good. The Parmesan cheese and the herbs and that salty butter, it's just delicious. And I think perfect for that stay in Valentine's date. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you press that like button and share this with your friends? And if you haven't already, subscribe to my Kathy Southern Kitchen page on YouTube and Facebook. My sweet husband is actually watching me from afar and he is ready for date night to begin. And so am I. I'll see you next time.